In this tutorial, we will teach you how to backup Linux files. Backups basically come in handy when there is a system hardware failure. All of your data is still intact, and you can continue on working without any sort of data loss. Furthermore, accidental deletion and viruses can corrupt your data, and it's all the more easier to recover the data from a backup copy. There are two popular programs for Linux-based operating systems. The first is the Lucky Backup application, and the other is Deja Dup, which we will be looking into in this video. Deja Dup is a simple duplicity-based backup tool installed by default in Ubuntu. If you don't have the application on your system, you can install it from the terminal application. All you have to do is write the command sudo apt-get install deja-dup. After that, it will ask you for the password. Once entered, it will start downloading, unpacking, and installing the application. With that taken care of, let's exit the terminal application and click on the power icon on the top right side of the desktop. Over here, you can simply search for the application and it will show up in the results below. Simply click on the application to open it. At first, the overview section will be displayed, which shows a summary of your backup and from where you can turn on automatic backups. The restore and backup now options have to be configured before we can use them. Moving to the storage section, you can choose the backup location. To do that, simply open up the backup location drop-down menu and choose from the options available. For this tutorial, we will select the local folder option. Now we will be required to browse and select the folder location. For this tutorial, we will select the backup folder on the desktop. In the folder section, we can set the folder or folders we want to back up and the ones we want to ignore during the process. To select a folder, simply click on the plus sign here, browse and select the folder. For this tutorial, we will create a backup of the whole documents folder, but we only want to back up the important files and leave out the music folder over here. For that, move to the folders to ignore section and click on the plus sign. Here we will select the music folder. Now the application will create a backup of the documents folder without including the music folder. Moving to the schedule tab, here we can set the options of how often we want the application to back up and how long to keep each backup. You can switch from daily to weekly or even monthly. If you choose the forever option here, all backups will be stored until you choose to delete them manually, but all the other options will keep removing the old backups according to the time set or if there is low disk space. Now let's move back to the overview option and turn on automatic backup option. And over here, you can see when the most recent backup was taken and when the next scheduled backup is. Now let's create a backup. For that, click on the backup now button. With that done, you will be required to choose an encryption method. You can either set a password or allow the backup to be restored without a password. For this tutorial, we will password protect our backup. Once you hit enter, the program will start creating a backup. When the processing completes, you will be notified that the process has been completed. Now let's restore the backup we just created. For that, click on the restore button in the overview section. Next, you'll be required to choose where to restore from. Over here, let's select the location which we configured earlier for the backup location. Next, you'll be required to choose what date you want to restore. Since we only have one backup currently, it's only showing one option. But if the application is running on daily backups, it will show each date from where you can restore the data. Moving on, now we will have to choose where the restored files will be saved. We can either restore them to their original locations or specify a folder where they will be saved. For this tutorial, let's specify a location. Over here, we will restore the files on the desktop. Once that is done, it will show you a summary of the data being restored. Moving to the next step, since we had encrypted the backup with a password earlier, we will be required to enter it over here in order to restore the data. With the processing completed, let's close the window, and in the desktop over here, you can see that a new folder has been created. If we open up the folder, you can see that the Documents folder is located over here with all of the files restored completely. If we open both the original and the restored folder side by side, you can see that the Music folder was never included in the backup. And that's basically how you can backup Linux files. You can even use other applications such as Lucky Backup. The application can be downloaded from luckybackup.sourceforge.net, where you can even get a complete detailed documentation about the software as well. If you're using Ubuntu, you can even use the Ubuntu Software Center to download and install Lucky Backup on your system. All you have to do is search for the application, and it will be displayed in the results. Now you can simply install the application from here. These are some of the ways you can create backups in the Linux operating system. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.